For much of the 1990s, the energy of football's lawmakers was spent on changing how and when goalkeepers were allowed to handle the ball. In 1992, in response to a dull World Cup in Italy two years before, keepers were prevented from picking up back passes. And five years later, those restrictions were extended to include throw-ins, with keepers banned from picking those up too. But a further bit of legislation, which arrived a year later, would arrive dramatically and then apparently vanish just as quickly. So, what did happen to the six-second rule? Well, firstly, what actually was the six-second rule? Well, back in 1998, IFAB introduced an amendment to their laws which prohibited goalkeepers from holding onto the ball for longer than six seconds. It meant, obviously, that keepers would have to release it before the time elapsed or risk conceding an indirect free kick from the spot of the foul. The aim was to avoid time wasting. While the back pass and throw-in laws were introduced to deter negative play or make passing back to the goalkeeper more risky, the 1998 amendment was another measure aimed specifically at keepers. As late as the 1960s, they'd still been virtually unregulated. Once in possession, they were allowed to keep the ball for almost as long as they liked, provided they bounced it or threw it as they moved around the penalty box. That practice, which could often look ridiculous, was brought to an end at the beginning of the 60s by what was known as the four-step rule. Exactly as it sounds, it allowed the goalkeeper to take a maximum of four steps with the ball before punting or throwing it away. It was a vague law, and yet it remained in place for decades. And of course, it had loopholes as well, one of which included keepers taking their four steps, dropping and dribbling the ball, and then picking it up again. And that was restricted within the same amendment that outlawed the back pass. Once the ball has been released, it couldn't be picked up again until another player had possession of it. But putting an actual time limit on possession was new, and at the time, it seemed revolutionary. Has the International Football Association board fired the definitive shot across the bows of goalkeepers in this intriguing battle against time-wasting? pondered the FIFA website the year before the rule change became law. Well, no, it hadn't. But the rule does still exist and it remains relatively misunderstood. There have been a few notorious examples of goalkeepers being punished for abusing the time limit. Canadian goalkeeper Erin McLeod, for instance, with disastrous consequences at the 2012 Olympic Games. But it happens so rarely that it can seem like the law no longer exists. However, the intention was never to create another stoppage in the game. The law principally exists as a deterrent, and referees only tend to apply it as a last resort or when, despite repeated warnings, goalkeepers continually take advantage of that leniency. One of the most famous recent instances of a foul being called occurred in 2015, during a Europa League game between Liverpool and Bordeaux at Anfield. Home goalkeeper Simon Mignolet conceded an indirect free kick in his own box after holding the ball for nearly 20 seconds and visiting forward Henri Savier would score, hammering the ball into the top corner. But that captures the spirit of the six-second rule, or Law 12.2, to give it its proper title. It's still there, ready to punish the most egregious time wasters. But it was introduced and continues to exist as a way of developing better habits, rather than to be applied with draconian rigidity. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do enjoy TIFO, then you'll probably also like The Athletic. If you watch our tactics videos, you should go and read Michael Cox. If you're into data, read Mark Carey. And if you're into transfers, it's David Ornstein. Plus, if you're a fan of any Premier League team, then there's a journalist dedicated to you, and you can try it for free for 30 days now by clicking the link in the description.